Hi. In the previous lectures, we've sh show you the structure of the project, and in this lecture, I'll show you the basic design of our project. First of all, I'm gonna open the folder I'm using for my tutorials. This folder tutorials. And then here, I'm gonna create a new folder. I'll call this folder library dash urim. Yeah, something like this. Okay. And the file that we used in the previous lecture, I'm going to save in this folder. So I'm going to do the tutorials. Then we have library, library Udemy. And this is outline.txt. Yeah. So we have, we have now our file. Okay. Then I'm going to open designer. And here I'm gonna create a new main window and I'll save this window in our folder library Udemy and I'll call it library okay so now we have our UI file okay let's start by designing our app UI First of all, we need to add some buttons. So this is our button. Let's say this is for day-to-day -day operations. And we need to add another button. So I'm gonna copy paste this button here. And this button will be for, let's say adding for treating with books and we need another button and then this button we will treat with let's say search or what no let's say users so that we can add a new user and so on and we need another button for treating with settings and we will also add another button for theme so that we can change our app theme from the UI. Okay, so now we have our four buttons. Let's move down. Yeah. Something like this. Okay, let's save this. And we need a tab widget. So we will bring one like here. Yeah. So this tab widget has two tabs. So we will make one tab for day to day life and the second tab for books. So we need to add another tab. So we'll third after current page. This is for users and we need also to add another tab for settings. And the same, we were not gonna add another tab. We will do it uh, like an animation. Don't worry. I'll explain everything in detail. So now we have, let's see four tabs and we have five buttons okay this is awesome now we need to download some icons and connect these icons to our buttons so here i'm gonna create a new folder with name of icons and i'm gonna need to open a new google here new, yeah and here we need some icons i'm gonna search for google for some icons one for day-to-day -day operations, so we're gonna see, uh, let's see, books, BNG icon. So let's see, yeah, something like this, or this, yeah. We need a BNG, yeah. We need a BNG image. So I think. This is good, so we will save this. Books. We need another icon for. Let's say three icon BNG. So we need something like this. Yeah, let's save this and we will save it like three we need another icon for users settings and themes 
So we're gonna say users and we will we need something like this yeah. so let's save this to users and we need an, an icon for settings a colorful one settings we need another one for themes <coughs> so I'm gonna type themes I think this is good This is good. So let's save this. Save images. I'm gonna say themes. And now we will take all of these icons to our icons folder. We have the main five icons for our app now we need to cre create an icons file so here I'm gonna create an, a new file let's open supply let's create a new page let's save this page I'm gonna say icons dot qrc and here we need our icons to add our icons code so so I'm gonna paste this code and the explain it First of all, we type doc type. This is RCC. Then we open the RCC tag. Then we added a key resource tag. Then we added our files. So we're gonna remove one of this, uh, or we're gonna edit this. So we're gonna add three. Let's make this. So we have three icon. We have box icon. This duplicate, sorry, duplicate this line, and we have settings icon, and we have themes icon. So we have today books, settings, themes, we have users, sorry, users icon. So now we've added the five icons to our QRC file. Now let's open designer and here from view to property editor then open this and here let's pick an icon choose resource and here let's add add and here let's open resource and let's open icons at QRC we have our five icons and here if we select this we have our five icons I'm gonna choose this for today then we're gonna move this text like this and for box we can add sorry an icon from our resource file this is box and let's remove this text and here for users we're gonna add users we're gonna move this and for settings we can add the settings icon and for themes we're gonna add the themes icon now we need to make our icons bigger than this so we're gonna make it like yeah something like this this is also this and the settings and the seams
this is fine. Now we have the main five buttons on our application. We have the today, day to day operations, we have the books, we have the users, we have settings, and we have themes. And then we have also four tabs every one tab for this button, except the themes will have another thing. Now everything is working fine. We need to add the content of every tab, the day to day operation, the books, the users, and so on. And we will do this in the next lecture.